All right. I've got a super fascinating show for you guys today. My guest is Wayne Altman. So Wayne suffers from tinnitus really bad. And he was looking for relief when somebody told him about binaural beats. Some of you may know all about binaural beats. You may have been using them for years. Some of you, may, this might be your intro, but um, it's something that's been a part of my life for a long time. Um, but what he found is that when he used binaural beats, he finally got relief. So he'll tell you that story and how he just got super excited about different sound frequencies and the effects that they can have on the body. And he went on to create a really incredible platform called Melody Clouds. Um, it's an app. You can go to melodyclouds.com, but it has more, way more than just binaural beats. Um, there's music, guided meditations, audiobooks, um, solfeggio frequencies, nature sounds. Um, I believe he said something for like, you know, babies, uh, it just, it really, really cool. So he's going to educate us on how these sound frequencies work, what they do in our body. Um, so yeah, if you're into sound, uh, brainwave states, biohacking, you know, this is going to be a great episode to learn more about that. Um, and yeah, if you want to learn more about what they got, just go to melodyclouds.com. Here is Wayne Altman. Okay. So Wayne, binaural beats, this is going to be our binaural beats episode. I've been using binaural beats since, I don't know, 2017. I think, I think a lot of my audience has probably heard of binaural beats or they've tried it, but they're probably like, I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of gray air. People are like, what is it? It's like good for your brain or something. Or like, what's the deal? So, um, could you share how you came to know about binaural beats and then let's talk about what they are and why people should care. Yeah, for sure. Um, I only, hello, by the way, uh, very nice to be with you. Um, I only heard about it uh, a, less than a year ago. Less than a year ago, I was sitting with a friend of mine, and um, I served eight years in the Army. And <clears throat> in that eight years, I lost 70% of my hearing, and I got myself a nice fat case of tinnitus or uh, tinnitus. And right now, um, I hear uh, this whining and whooshing uh, going on in my head. And from the time I wake up in the morning to the time I go to sleep, it's with me. Wow. Um, so anyway, he knew this. He suffers from it as well. And we were talking about it. He goes, I, I want to play something for you. I'm like, cool. You know, I like music, whatever. <laughs> I am the least crunchy guy the least woo woo person you will ever <laughs> meet okay i it, i get all like creeped out by that anyway he plays me some of this like super woo woo um music and i'm you know getting kind of annoyed third track boom no tinnitus and i noticed it immediately and i was like whoa whoa what the hell did you just do to my ears because you go 30 years never hearing silence, right? That's missing. That's a big, that's a big thing. Yeah. And he goes, Oh man, I got you. That's it's a binaural <laughs> beat. Mm. And I'm like, okay, so what is that? All right. So binaural beat is uh one frequency that goes in one ear, one frequency goes into the other ear, and your brain is an electrical appliance, it is going to split the difference between those two um, between those two signals and create a third signal in your brain. Now, why is that important? That's important because now you can control your moods, you can control focus, you can control all things for people. You can literally block grief in people that are uh, suffering from, um, you know, crushing uh, grief uh, uh, that, that normally would need medication or something like that. Mm -hmm. So that's binaural beats. And it was something within one week of that, I had melodyclouds.com. I had a website up. We're, we're developing another set of apps for this. I mean, I, I move very quickly. Yeah. Wow. Cause I mean, I can't even imagine like, it was probably almost like the absence of the tinnitus, like sounded like something, right? You're like, yes. What is this? Yeah. yeah. That's, that's the really difference cool. between going from a crowded gym. Okay. Loud crowded gym or a concert and stepping into a soundproof closet. 
That's how impactful that was. So yes, mm-hmm. it, I noticed it immediately. And what, yeah. what struck me the most, though, once I had a time to breathe and had a chance to figure it out, the first two tracks did nothing for me. Hmm. That's even more important than the one that did something because it made it real. How many times have you gone to a doctor or had someone go to a doctor, they prescribe a medication, right? Mm -hmm. That medication does not have the desired effect or you're suffering from uh, other effects, side effects that you didn't plan for. So the doctor changes that prescription. Happens all the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that the fact that those other two binaural beats, those other two frequencies did not do anything really Mm -hmm. made this, oh, this is science. This isn't some mystical woo woo, you know, chicken feathers. And, you know, this is actually, you you know what I mean? This is actually Oh yeah. I mean, I've, I've been on the binaural beats, like I said, for quite a while now. And like, I mean, there are research studies on them. I actually pulled some stuff up. You, maybe you have some of this too, but I thought it might be interesting for the audience, you know, and then if people are, if, if this is new to you, you're listening, like what's happening is you're putting your brain, there's different brainwave states and different, um, Hertz ranges will produce right. different brainwave states, right? So you can go into Delta, Theta, Alpha, yep. um, Beta, and there are studies. So I pulled some up. I don't know if you have these two, but, um, like in 2005, that was forever ago. My daughter was born. My oldest child was born in 2005. She's 17. This was a long time ago. They did a study in 2005 where they had a hundred people about to go into surgery and they found that, um, the binaural beats were able to significantly reduce their preoperative anxiety compared to the ones who didn't have binaural beats in their music that they listened to. Right. So it's like very well researched. several studies I've got from 2007, 2011, and a lot of it they've used to reduce anxiety in people who are yes, going to have surgery or they have some, you know, traumatic life event. You can use it to do that. But then there's like us nerdy biohacking optimization people. Right. And it's like, okay, maybe I want to go into alpha frequencies because I want to be positive and relaxed, or maybe I want to go into beta frequency so I can get concentrated and alert and problem solve and improve memory. And so I'm assuming in your app, uh, Melody Cloud, is that the name of the app? Melody Clouds? Melody Clouds. Yep. Yeah. Melody Clouds. Like I'm assuming you guys have like a library of all these different oh, yeah. oh, frequencies. Can you tell us about that? We have 8,000 8, hours of guided meditation and oh, wow. solfeggio frequencies and binaural beats. We've mm. got 18,000 of audio books where people can, oh, you know, cool. learn about different subjects or the classics, all the classics are there to wow. help people relax. It's basically a relaxation mm. um, destination. It's a place where people can go and just relax. However, mm. what you just said, listen, you, you know, we, from the dawn of time, we have used music to communicate with one another, whether we spoke the same language or not. Mm -hmm. You know, the reason we started beating on hollow logs is to warn the tribe over there, do not mess with us. We are not to be fooled with. Mm -hmm. Every, there are no such thing as silent movies. Even silent (laughs) movies had a soundtrack. There was someone at the piano just beating the crap out of it to tell you how to feel about the images you were watching. Right, right. So even if you had someone somewhere that didn't, they weren't given buy-in on the binaural beat part of it, which again, has been a long time studied. Mm -hmm. Every single one of us knows that we communicate or when we want to manipulate our mood, we go to music. Music is our go-to thing. Mm -hmm. Whether you're a teenager that wants to, you know, me, I, when I was a teenager, it was Depeche Mode, The Cure. Yeah. I like that depressive, you know, <laughs> I, I, that, that, that was my jam. Okay. I'm, that's just the way it was. My sister too. That. <laughs> right? and, and, you know, my, my, and my wife too, you know, Morrissey, are you kidding him? Now my kids are doing the same exact thing, yeah. <laughs> but you, you, you hit it exactly right. If you want to get that feeling of enlightenment, if you yeah. want I'll give you a better one, better one. Okay. So I have a track 
It is a 432 hertz. It's a sleep. Mm -hmm. That's putting it the term lightly. Mm -hmm. I have heard about 15 or 20 seconds of this track because I go to sleep so quickly Mm -hmm. when it comes on. Awesome. I mean, it, I have it right next to my bed, turn that music on when I really want to go to sleep and boom, I'm out. Mm. And the reason I'll I'll share this with you, the reason that I have uh, so many, I've got many, many um, sleep and deep, you know, relaxation and REM sleep. I had someone, my daughters, I have three daughters and two of them play volleyball. And one of the mothers came to me when she heard I was doing this. And she said, I just take Benadryl when I want to go to sleep at night. Oh my God. And I was like, wait, every, every <laughs> night you take Benadryl? She goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I take five or six Benadryl and boom, oh, I'm out like a no. light. And I'm like, oh no. Oh my God. What is that doing to your liver? What, what are you doing? You, you know, you're, you're basically telling me, Hey Wayne, I poisoned myself. Right. Like overdose on over the right. counter medication right. in order to get to sleep. And mm-hmm. so I said, no, 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 we're not doing that anymore. Come with me. I you know, set her up with Melody Clouds and and you know, she it works for her as well. Mm, yeah. And like, I mean, I, I'm kind of a I am pretty nerdy with the body. And what I find so fascinating is like. I mean, we all know this intuitively, right? But we know that like if certain kinds of music, you can feel, you can almost feel a neurotransmitter release. If you you know what they feel like, right? If you know what oxytocin feels like, if you know what serotonin feels like, if you know what dopamine feels like, like you can just choose music. But by neural beats, I mean, it it is well-researched that like, like alpha wave states, for example, can release serotonin and dopamine, right? So like, it's a powerful antidepressant as well. I mean, most music is, but you add binaural beats to music and like you can control your state more, you know, healing. So Mm -hmm. you, you, your brain is what dictates where the resources of your body go. So one of the reasons we put people in a hospital, okay, we don't leave them at the scene of an accident is so their brain can relax and start dictating where those resources go. Now you can take, um, 285 Hertz. I have them written in in front of me in case you wonder why I'm always like looking up, but anyway, healing tissue, it puts your brain in the state of healing. So if you have inflammation, if you have uh, things, you know, aches, pains, you can actually pull up one of these tracks, 285 hertz, and mm-hmm. it puts your brain, it allows your brain to get back to that state that where you're you're in the healing and it's mm-hmm. giving those directions the the way that you know, your pro your brain is a computer. And so you're asking it to do what it normally does. You're just asking at this moment, I'd like for you to do that. Mm, whether it's it. whether it's focus. Well, our tagline on Melody Clouds is "Take charge of your mood." Yeah, and yeah. we mean that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, if you're in a bad mood, fix it. Right. Fix it. If you're if you want if you're sad and you want to be happy, or at least you don't want to be as sad, I have something for you we can fix that. Yeah. If you're ready to go into a workout, look, we, every single one of us knows you can tell the people that are going to the gym to really get a workout or those that are going to check out other people. Okay. (laughs) And it's all in the playlist. (laughs) Show me your playlist. What music are you listening to while you're here? Because if it's ACDC and Metallica, you're get there to get a pump on. But if you're listening to Air Supply and Michael Bolton, guess <laughs> what? You looking for love, okay? That's what you're there for. That's hilarious. So, or you have the weirdos like me that just listen to reggae because it makes me want to dance. <laughs> okay, so it gives you energy. Okay, yeah. Again, we know now we know, okay, look. Tara is there to get her aerobic exercise in and to to actually do something of benefit. Have fun. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. Question. Ra- really random, uh, selfish question. Classical music. Do you have classical music on your app? Do absolutely. Look, w- the only thing that I don't have right now is um, Christian praise music, which okay. is very odd because <laughs> I have tried everything on Melody Clouds. I own. I own every bit of music there. So. I'm not trying to license music. I've, ha- I've been approached by tons of people wanting to license their music. And I'm like, absolutely not. Sell it to me. We'll, you know, now we're talking. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, Aesop's Fables. Um, uh. the, 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 a Hall of Fame winning, the guy is in the Radio Hall of Fame, Gary Meyer, very good friend of mine, r- is reading Aesop's Fables for us. 138 stories. I don't know if you're familiar with them, but it teaches kids those lessons Mm -hmm. that you and I, we learned when we were growing up and all of a sudden they just disappeared. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like, no, 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 no. We're bringing those back. The fox and the grapes, the woman and the hen, you know, all these stories that taught you a very important lesson. So you didn't have to learn it the hard way. I'm bringing those back in, in, in Mm -hmm. melody clouds. Mm, very cool. Yeah. The kind of the biohacker way of being, I'd say in my biohacking community, or, you know, we use that term loosely. It's really just health optimization people or people who want to, it's like, we're not afraid to modify things a little bit. We're not afraid to experiment on ourselves a little bit. We're not afraid to be proactive about trying new things to see how it impacts us. Right. And like what I love about um, binaural beats is just such a natural way to do it. Right. It's not like you're like putting some chemical into your body. You're not having to, you know, ingest caffeine and have the after effects well, of that. You're just say that we're, yeah. we're going to go one step further. Yeah. You are constantly bombarded with things that are harmful to you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is a way to be proactive and say, wait, 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 I'm going to take a break from all the yeah. harmful things that you're slamming me with. And I'm going to bring it back to things that are actually positive. And, you know, I'm going to get better sleep and sleep longer and actually enter a REM state where I'll feel refreshed. Or Mm -hmm. I've been feeling pretty negative about things or a little scattered. So rather than take a, you know, drink another cup of coffee, which nothing wrong with coffee, people, you know, knock yourself out. But if Mm -hmm. I showed you a way that you could actually bring Mm -hmm. that focus without Mm -hmm. taking a pill or without drinking something or doing something that might be harmful to you. Right. This is definitely a better alternative. What are some of the most popular things on the app that you've noticed that people are loving? Yeah. Binaural beats and solfeggio frequencies are super important to people right now. I'm not familiar with solfeggio frequencies. Yeah, I love Can the story of solfeggio. Me? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I talk about this every chance I get a chance, every time okay. I get a chance to. Back in the 11th century, there was an Italian monk named Guido di Arezzo. Love the guy, love the name. He did not discover solfeggio, I say he observed it. And here's what solfeggio frequencies are. You and I, I I don't play a musical instrument and I cannot sing to save my, as a matter of fact, someone would probably kill me if I started singing, okay? But even though I cannot carry a tune in a bucket, I can tell you when something is out of tune. If a guitar, someone's playing guitar and it's out of tune. Or a singer comes on TV and they're singing out of tune. You and I would look at one another and immediately know that there is something wrong. That Mm -hmm. the piano is out of tune. Okay, he recognized that. And using those frequencies, he was able to bring people into focus and bring people uh, sleep and do the same things that binaural beats do, except... There are no two frequencies. It's all done in one harmony. It's one Mm -hmm. frequency. Um, You can listen to those um, solfeggio frequencies. They're actually slightly more popular on Melody Clouds. And I think Mm -hmm. I know why. With binaural beats, most people, not everyone, but most people need to have headphones in and the frequencies need to go one in each ear. Right. Right. With solfeggio, that's not the case. That makes sense. One frequency, your brain matches that frequency, and it's easier for people that are just doing this. 
Now, I will tell you that um, I have people that tell me all the time that they can take binaural beats, listen to them over a speaker, and detect people can pick those up without the yeah headphones. Without headphones. Hmm. So, okay. you know, I, I'm not going to argue with anyone, I, but yeah. I do know that binaural beats are, you know, th- they are meant to listen one in each ear. That's so, so I'm now I'm like all like Googling solfeggio frequencies. Cause I'm like, so does it have the same impact on like n- different neurotransmitters being really, you know, your brainwave state? Is it the same kind of impact? Look, I would say yes. And I'll, and I'll tell you why. Here's my proof of that. Solfeggio frequencies really They're around us all the time. Again, you're listening. When you listen to someone that's really good at opera, okay, they're a very pure voice or say Whitney Houston or Celine, people who are very good at singing, Mm -hmm. very pure voices, everyone around them is affected by that voice. Mm -hmm. You will hush to mm-hmm. listen to it. Mm-hmm. That is solfeggio. Now, the, the definition, if someone wants to look it up, is the so, you know, uh, do, re, mi, so, fa, la, ti, do. Okay, that's mm-hmm. solfeggio, that, that um, those notes. The six. Okay. S- six what I, I'm talking I, about goes a little bit deeper okay. than just those so, fa, notes, right. okay? Yeah. <laughs> I shouldn't so, know this. My mom was a music major my entire life. So like I, you know, I was always involved with music. So I'm pulling it up. There is a lot of information on solfeggio yeah, frequency. Tons. So if you guys want to verify, there's like a <laughs> yeah. lot coming up. <laughs> yeah. and, and look, here's the thing. It's funny to me because, you know, sometimes one of the criticisms becomes, okay, well, it's br- brand new. And, mm-hmm. um, you know, we haven't done a whole lot of study. It's absolute nonsense. Just feel it. In the 70s, they (laughs) really picked up binaural beats very heavily in the 70s. The military especially were were trying to use that as and did to a certain degree in interrogations Mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So you you can bet that these things are a real science and can actually be used for the benefit of of, uh, your benefit. Well, and the thing is, I mean, when I first heard of binaural beats and started using them, it's just like, it's, it's real simple. Like you could read some studies or you could just experience it yourself and see what you experience. And then you just know, like, it's like, we get so uh, caught up in like, prove it. And it's like, prove it. We'll just feel it. Just try it out and see how you feel. And if you like it, cool. And if you don't like it, cool. (laughs) Which brings us right back to what I was saying about, look, the first two the first two songs, the first two binaural beats I was introduced to did absolutely nothing of consequence. Mm-hmm. I really did not notice anything. And I was, it was the third one. And was I it a different to, frequency or just? Yeah, it was di- different yeah. frequencies. Right. Yeah. Right. So, so he played for me, I want to say 639 first. And then played uh, 396. I know 396 was definitely one of them. And then really for me to lose the tinnitus is 174. 174, when I'm listening to 174, tinnitus goes, I, I uh, my aches and pains. Um, wow. I, I don't have a, a whole lot of, you know, like if I have a really hard workout, I'm 55 years old, okay? But there's a lot of miles on this. <laughs> um, and so when I wake up and I feel like someone's just beating the crap out of me, I'll listen to um, uh, 174 and I will immediately feel the effects of, you, you know, s- some analgesic and pain relief. Wow. Very cool. Yeah. yeah I'm uh, sorry. I'm Google. I'm such a nerd. So I'm just like trying know. to save all these tabs as you're talking about them. <laughs> and yeah. There's a, it's just a tons of 174 Hertz, solfeggio, binaural beats and healing frequencies, pain relief, sleep music. Yeah. So um, but look, I want to make sure that your audience understands that, you know, with Melody Clouds, we really do mean, you know, take charge of your mood. Yeah. Um, I put the audiobooks, you know, 18,000 audiobooks on there because some people like reading, other people yeah. like being read too. 
Right. It's in 210 different languages. So mm-hmm. we have books that, you know, wow. that Melody Clouds itself has translated into 210 languages. We have wow. we have subscribers from 140 countries. Wow. Um, our lullabies. So let's talk a second about our lullabies. Mm, nice. Uh, anyone that has had children knows that the first skill we learn as a human being is self-soothing. The art of being able to get ourselves back to sleep, soothe ourselves is skill number one, okay? Mm -hmm. We we make that easier by our lullabies. Our lullabies are cut in uh, 23-hour sections. So mm-hmm. the lullaby goes on for 23. And the reason for that, not, not that you, there are no binaural beats. You should not put your child down for 23 hours. But <laughs> what we do is when you put your baby down, swaddled, nice, warm, fed, and music is playing. When they do stir and they will wake, they realize pretty quickly, hey, I'm in the same place I was before. Same music is playing. I'm warm still. I'm I'm not hungry. And they immediately learn how to soothe themselves very, very, very quickly. We get Mm. more communication, more letters, more email from people Mm. thanking us for that, those lullabies done the way we do them, than even any of the binaural beats, any of the solfeggio, any of the audiobooks. It is crazy. How many people go, wait a minute, a week ago, I could not sleep through the night. And now my baby is sleeping completely wow. through the night where every, all, it's all good. That's so cool. And, and I was cool? thinking when, when my kids were babies, that would have been really nice for like longer car rides and things too. <laughs> it's funny because my wife and I, we were talking about this the other night and she's like, this wouldn't have worked for you. And I was like, what, what do you mean? And she's like, you were so excited about being a dad that you would go in and wake the, our kids up <laughs> and, and talk to them all night long. That's you so would sweet. tell them all these, you know, stories and stuff like that. She goes, um, our children got no sleep around you at all. It is a wonder they are. And I was like, oh, man, so I did sweet. do that. Oh, that was crazy. <laughs> I did do that to my kids. Oh, that's so sweet. I love that. <laughs> Um, I, well, I loved uh, with them when they were babies. Now, that's and which is another reason why I we did Aesop's fables. I was mentioning this. You know, Aesop was a slave, taught Socrates, taught Plato, and he had he's famous for these stories. And these stories are timeless. They they are lessons that every single human being on this planet needs to know. And I'm very passionate about that. You, you mm. absolutely need to know these stories. Now, just so happened to have a very good friend. He's in the Radio Hall of Fame. His voice won't, ma- I mean, it is buttery, man. Th- he really does a good job with these stories. So I talked to Gary. I said, hey, so we, we 138 stories, and I'm paying to have them animated as we speak. So oh, cool. hopefully soon we'll have little cartoons. I think they're going to be pretty hilarious. That is so awesome. I'm Isn't now, cool? I, I've, I've got to have my kids and I like check that out because we like to just kind of sit around and do whatever. And that would be really cool to do with well, them. We so. did um, a whole section of children's stories um, mm-hmm. on Melody Clouds too. And, mm-hmm. and one of the reasons that we did that is because look, you know, some of us are uh, um, raised by single parents or you know, if we have two parents, both of them are working. Mm-hmm. And I, you know, I feel for them. My wife and I, we both work and I would come home and sometimes I would just, man, look, I'm tired. I, the last thing in the world I want to do is read a story or read yeah. that stack of books you're bringing to me. <laughs> but maybe we can sit here and listen to someone read a story. You and I both right. are sitting next to one another and we can listen to them read a story and we'll have that same interaction and they'll probably do the voices that I can't do, you know, because yeah. a lot of our children's stories, people are acting out and right. it, it, we've got a lot of people that think that that's a lot of fun. I love that. Yeah, it's um, pretty cool. Let's talk about the meditation section 
of the yeah. app. What you guys got in there? <laughs> okay, so I am really bad at meditation. And I people were asking me and asking me, I mean, from almost day one of Melody Clouds, people were asking, uh, are you going to have meditations? Are you going to do meditations? Are you going to do meditations? <laughs> ASMR and meditations, are you going to do, you know, those two things. Mm-hmm. And I debated for a very long time about whether or not we would add meditations. But I decided, look, there are people that do need to slow down and they they have zero idea or zero patience on how to even meditate. Mm -hmm. So if we had guided meditation, let me find someone that can really do a guided, you know, guide people through this meditative process. Mm -hmm. Um, and so, yes, we've got, uh, 800 guided meditations. Holy smokes. Um, Yeah. I go big. Okay. I go big. (laughs) I I want you to have a, a, listen, the reason for that is because we don't all like the same thing. Right. Maybe you would respond to a man with a low voice. Right. Someone else is going to respond to a woman with a very soft voice. Right. So I have that. Yeah. Or maybe you like someone that we, we're in a meditative state, but we're talking very quickly. And it's that's what gets you to that point to, to meditate. Other people, it's very slow. It's very quiet. It's very gentle. Mm, right. Of so course. all of that is part of our guided meditations. We, we have all of that. And that. look, some people I, look tell me I, I meditate just fine. I need nature. I, I live in a city yeah. and I want nature sounds. Yep. Okay. You know, I I can help with that. We have uh, 400 and some odd different environments. And Mm -hmm. very quickly, we are going to be, (laughs) can't believe I'm talking about this, but we are going to be able to create environments. And by we, I mean, you and I, you will be able to go into our app and you will be able to physically create your own app, a roaring fire by an ocean with an owl and crickets. Wow. Okay. Cool. If that's what's going to relax you or, or, or let's say that you live in the country and you miss being in the city and what relaxes you, I need a guy with a jackhammer. I need honking horns. Oh I need, right. Because we oh. all want something different. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, I love cool. that. Yeah. That's, I mean, just, I love to, um, you can maybe hear my bird in the background. I've got a canary in here. I've got running water. I like, I've got wind chimes. I like to have the window open. And so at nighttime, like I have all, you know, salt lamps and candles and I love to create a vibe like that. So having like that many different nature sounds available, especially if there's binaural beats or these solfeggio frequencies, like that's really cool. That's definitely like right up my Very funny story. So what started, what started this was a um, few years ago, um, I was starting to listen to white noise and stuff, anything to try and beat this tinnitus. Mm. And <clears throat> so I started listening to nature sounds uh, to go to sleep. And my wife was like, hey, you got to knock it off. You got to stop. And I was enjoying it. I was totally <laughs> enjoying the babbling brook or the mm. rain coming down. I had, I was oblivious. Okay. <laughs> and one night she says to me, hey, you got to knock this off. <laughs> she said, because you get up to go to the bathroom so many times, but you're listening to this river rushing by Mr. You know, uh, <laughs> nature sound. It, you, you, you. So I'm like, man, that totally, it totally makes sense. So I have found other things that would do, you know, the, the yeah. same thing that I, I used to be a big rainstorm and river, you know. And and now not so much because as I got older, I it would trigger other stuff. <laughs> now you got to do sand blowing in the wind. Yeah, I wind. <laughs> I, I, you know, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome, oh, man. Okay, so Melody Clouds, um, MelodyClouds.com is the best place for people to find this, correct? Yep. MelodyClouds.com. Now let me. I'm very excited because we're doing something right now. I want people to try this. Um, and this is not a this is not a get rich scheme at all, let alone get rich quick. Okay. <laughs> it's two ninety nine for 60 days, $2 oh, wow. and 99 cents for 60 days. That's nice. I want people who I want anyone that wants to try it to be able to try, it. but I only want people who want to be a member of melody clouds to keep it. Therefore the 
uh, unsubscribe button is the largest button on the apps and on the website. You will not have to hunt for the unsubscribe button. Always appreciate that. <laughs> right? Oh man, yes. that is the, I don't, I'm not, I don't shave my head. I pull my hair out <laughs> trying to unsubscribe from stuff. Right. I refuse. I refuse to be that guy. Okay? Right. The it, the super fluorescent light green on the white the background. Right. You can't red even see it. Button. <laughs> my wife is like, do you have to make the unsubscribe button? I don't want people unsubscribing. I'm like, I do. I do. Yeah. If you don't want to be with me, God bless you. Yes. Move along. That's okay. how I operate too. So two ninety nine um, gives you sixty days, five ninety nine after that. Mm, now that's awesome, so right? Affordable. Because yeah. my people ask Wayne, look, you've got you know, there's fifty different right you know, apps that do this, mm. and my answer to that is yes, that's that's true, but there isn't a restaurant in the world that doesn't have a hamburger on its menu. <laughs> Does that mean that McDonald's and Burger King are going right. to, you know, that's going to affect their business or totally. five guys or where in and out burger where I live? I mean, no, <laughs> it's ridiculous. You yeah. find the place you like there the, is the best burger. Mm -hmm. And we want to be that for you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Five ninety nine a month after that. And, you know, you're off to the races. You get the app. The app is absolutely free. Sign up on the website. The app is free. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Melodyclouds.com. We'll link that up you guys. And yeah, like, I mean, two ninety nine for two months, like you might as well try it out. If you haven't gotten on the binaural beach train, like they're, they're very, very beloved and popular, you know, um, I personally am like a plant medicine lover and I've combined them in some of my plant medicine journeys and that's been really cool. So, um, it's, well, you're you know, going to love this. Oh, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but you're oh, going to yeah. love this then you saying that. <laughs> <laughs> so I am partnering with a company and very shortly, I'm, I don't know exactly when, but very quickly, we're going to um, go into aromatherapy, mm. um, white labeling our own different blends and stuff very cool. of, um, of uh, aromatherapies yeah. and stuff. I am like huge on, see, because that's kind of my jam. You know what right. I mean? Normally but it's food cooking, but th mm. this also is pretty good. <laughs> Yeah. When you can, I mean, that's like, you know, for my, I've got a retreat coming up, it'll probably have already maybe passed by the time we release this, but like, um, doing, we have essential oils, we have sounds, I have a music playlist, like all of these things, like they help anchor you into a moment. So like later right. on, you can achieve those same similar states through the, the memory of sound through the memory of smell, you know? And so, yeah, you guys are definitely creating some experiences for people. That's yeah, really, very cool. Really yeah. I, cool. I'm, I'm totally down for it. Yeah. All right, guys. Um, so we'll link it up. Melodyclouds.com. Go check it out. It's only three bucks for 60 days. I mean, what an amazing, like at that's it's almost like, oh my gosh, are you sure? Because I mean, they have got audio books on there, the meditations, the binaural beats, obviously the solfeggio, like you mentioned, the kids stuff, the stories that I mean, <laughs> the nature sounds, the environment like goes on and on. So thanks for creating something so incredible. And I hope that my audience takes, I hope you guys take a chance to, to try it out because it is really cool to see how the different frequencies impact you. And then if you do it through repetition, you can start to like notice what that feels like. And then you can notice other things that pull you into that same state. Right. So it's kind of like 100% a cool, true. Um, learning how your brain works, uh, kind of training as well, and being able to modify it as needed. And like you said, even things from, you know, health issues to grief, to needing to be able to sleep better, to concentration and focus, to happiness. Like it's really, really cool stuff. And you don't have to put any chemicals in your body in order to do it. So you just make your own through natural sources. So appreciate yeah. you, uh, putting, putting in so much work, you know, like you really hit the pedal to the metal here and, um, it's incredible. And thank you for coming on and sharing with us today. Thank you for having me. It's been a blast. Music can influence your emotional and physical well-being. Solfeggio and binaural beats create frequencies that have been found to help heal your body and alter your mood. Guided meditation can center and calm your mind and soothe your soul. Melody Clouds brings you a massive collection of audiobooks and music files that include 17,000 classic novels and hand-picked authors narrated by professional voice actors. Get access to exclusive content on children's stories and classic Aesop's fables. 
Melody Clouds is translated into over 140 languages and in more than 200 countries and has a library that continues to expand monthly. Sign up now for a 60-day trial for just $2.99. Then, keep the music flowing for $5.99 a month. Our yearly membership is now $59.99 for a limited time. Join thousands of subscribers who have found the benefits of these frequencies.